Hello and welcome to Budgeting with Intention. In today's video, we'll be going over the budget for the month of May. If you're new, welcome. If you are returning, welcome back. It is so nice to have you here and it feels good to be back. It's been a while since I posted a video, so I'm a little bit nervous to be honest, but it does feel good to be back in the seat and uh, yeah, getting everything down on paper again. My partner and I have been trying a couple of different budgeting methods, um, but I think for this month, I'm gonna go back to doing the budget overview on paper, just getting a bird's eye view of everything and seeing how that feels. So, Without any further ado, um, for those of you who are new, we are a family of three living on the East Coast of Canada. My partner and I both have just normal day jobs, nothing special, probably like on the lower end of average income for our area, it's probably about average. Um, and then on the side, I do some freelance work. So hopefully someday YouTube will be included in that. I have reached a thousand subscribers. Thank you so much to each and every one of you. I can't even get over it. It's like such a huge milestone. So thank you, thank you, thank you. Um, yeah, so we have the subscriber count and now we just have to work on getting some more videos posted so that there's more people watching and more watch hours. So that will be the goal for this year to see if I can get this channel monetized, which of course will help go right into the budget and help things, um, yeah, feel better in the budget. So jumping right in, we're just gonna go in. This is just a budget overview. Um, we've got fixed expenses, variable expenses, debt payments, and uh, saving and sinkings. So we're just gonna start filling them out piece by piece. And I will have a link to this sheet in the description below if you are new and you want to try this for yourself. So for, I guess we'll save that for later. For rent, we are paying $1,200 a month. And then subscriptions, we are currently paying for Netflix. Um, we have OnStar for our vehicle. And then we also have, for my freelance stuff, I needed a dedicated email address and the Google Suite thing. So I'm paying for Google Suite. So all that together is about $45. And then oil, this is for our furnace. We are <laughs> we are still pretty uh, reliant on the furnace heat at this time of year, so we are still paying it. This um, payment is luckily only $390. So if you watched last year's videos, you saw that some of them could get up to over $900. So $390 is A-OK. -okay. Bank fees are $17. Internet is $190, and that is bundled with home phone, which is what I need for my day job since I work from home, and all of those are tax deductible. So it seems like it's a lot of money, and it is, but um, I actually don't have a choice with that. So that's where we're at with that. Insurance is $290. That is a bundle of life insurance, car insurance, and home insurance. And then child care, we're paying $375 each month. And then our cell phones together is around just under $115. So I just round these all up to the nearest whole number. I don't worry about the little, you know, the pennies on this one. So we'll add all that up and see what our fixed expenses add up to for this month. So 1200, 45, 390, 17, 190, 290, 375, 115, 26, whoops, 26, 22. And let me just add that up once more real quick. 45, 390, 17, 190, 290, 375, 115, 26, 22, perfect, okay. And then down here for our debt payment, uh, that is car payments, we have two of them and they are 170 each, so that gives us 340 for the month. And then our loan payment is 400, so added that adding that together gives us 740 and then over here to our variable expenses we've got groceries we are doing 600 a month um, for groceries and gas we're going to do 240 
that works out to $60 a week. And then household, we're going to put in 40 for the month. And then pocket money is 100. And then we'll do 40 for the month for anything miscellaneous that comes up as well. Car maintenance, we are getting our tires changed and oil and other little things. And that is all... I don't know, she, she quoted me 190 over the phone, but I feel like that's too low for compared to what it cost last time. So I'm gonna add an extra $50 to that just to be safe, give ourselves a buffer. So we'll say 240 um, just in case. So let's add that up. So 600, 240, 40, 100, and then Okay, so that is 1260. And then down in our savings and sinking funds, we have two RESP payments. That is our education fund for our son. So that is two payments of 25, so $50 in total. And then the same with our tax free savings account two payments of $25, which is 50 in total. Just in case fund, that's just what we call our emergency fund and we're going to contribute 150 to that this month. And then other sinking funds, um, I guess it just depends on how much we have left over in our budget at the end of the month. Whatever we have will just go into savings for other sinking funds that are going to be coming up at some point. Uh, but we are going to aim for 150 and then we'll see where it lands once we're done. So adding this up, we've got 100. So what's that 400 in total? Did I do that right? 50 and 50 is, yeah, and then three. Okay, so 400 total. And then let's see what we need for the whole month. So fixed expenses, just move this so you can see better. 26, 22. Let me just check how we're doing there for, hmm. Okay, 26, 22, and then variable is 12, 60. Debt repayment comes in at 740. And then our savings is 400, giving us an overall balance of 12,60,740,400. So what we need is $5,000 and 22, no, sorry, $5,022 to cover all of our expenses or projected expenses for this month. Um, now, as I said, our income, we've got our day jobs. I've got my freelance. We also get a child benefit. And then if we sell anything on Facebook or any side jobs come in, then that will also be added. So all of those together need to add up to at least $522 in order for this to balance out. So that's the quick and dirty of our May budget. Um, we used to do this at the beginning of every month and we kind of got away from it the last couple months, but I'm kind of feeling like I need some more structure in our budget. So I'm going back to this and, um, yeah. And then in the day to day, we've also decided to go back to cash spending for groceries and personal money and the rest will just be, you know, debit transactions or credit online transfers, whatever, however they get paid. But, um, for groceries and pocket money will be using cash, which I'm going to put in my wallet in just a second. And then, yeah, I think everything else was, I went through that really quick. So if you want anything else to be explained, just let me know in the comments and I'm happy to do that for you. I'm kind of, I kind of forget <laughs> how to film. I hope I'm not going too fast. I hope I'm not just glazing over things really quickly. But if I am, like I said, just, leave me a message in the comments and I'll be happy to answer. Um, okay, so that's that. Now let's get some cash. So we are doing $600 a month for groceries and $100 a month for pocket money. So that works out to $150 a week for 
food. Yeah, groceries is 150 and then pocket money is 25. So I'm just gonna put that in my wallet. And of course we haven't been spending cash lately so I have nothing to clean out. But next week at the end of the week, I'll be able to take out whatever wasn't spent and put that into our little budget binder. So I'm just taking the 150 for groceries, putting it in one pocket of my wallet and then the pocket money goes into the other part of my wallet. Okay, so that was easy. So I guess that's it for today. That was uh, pretty quick. Um, I'm sure I forgot a whole bunch of things that I wanted to tell you uh, and I'll remember them as soon as I turn the camera off, but that's okay. We can do another video for next week. For our goals this year, we did, uh, my partner and I did sit down and have a little bit of a discussion about goals. And we both agreed that we would like a designated emergency fund. So we are working on getting $1,000 put into a designated emergency fund. And we'll probably put that into a high interest savings account somewhere just so that it can sit and be separate from our current bank account, but still be you know accessible should we need it for anything. Um, and the other goal I mentioned earlier was that, that I wanted to have this channel monetized. I think that would be really cool. So maybe by the end of the year, we'll have enough uh, watch time accumulated that we'll get paid. Um, and of course, if that does happen, I will document it and share the journey with you because I find those videos so fascinating and so motivating. Um, if you have any questions about anything, let me know, of course. If you have a channel, mention it in the comments and I'll pop over and give you some support, give you a like, write a little message, etc., etc. Um, yeah, and if you want to support my channel, you can do the same. You can subscribe, leave a little comment, do the thumbs up thing. Um, okay, now I'm just rambling, so I'm going to sign off. Uh, I feel really awkward, so <laughs> just give me some grace in this first video back. Uh, hopefully I'll be a little bit smoother in the next video now that I'm getting back into the groove of filming again. So thank you all so much for being here. Thank you so much for helping me get to a thousand subscribers. I so, so, so appreciate each and every one of you. And if you're not subscribed, I still appreciate you. Thank you for watching. Thank you for stopping by and we will see you next time. Bye-bye.